hung up. Oh my god. Major briar session. How are you not getting <sighs> Oh wow. No, we're doing some pond fishing. No, we're gonna go to come on down right here. This is fine. Is that isn't that an opening too? We could have walked in right there. Nice and neat. Don't break the poles. I try not to. Oh yeah. Let's see. You gotta find us a spot to. Hmm. All of that right there would be great to catch brim, but we gotta find a place where we can sit and cast. Oh, well, hell, there's a good spot down there. I don't know how your dad was like Never been here before, obviously. Over there, it's open. Oh, my loud, loud. So the dam is on that far side. So, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot my tripod. In the truck. I brought the tripod. But it's in the truck. Go figure. I'm out of the swing of things. Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice Back pond. In the Back in the grass. Yeah, that's the deeper side over there. So, what is up, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Today we are at a pond. You're gonna be doing some pond fishing for catfish and whatever else. So, I brought the dip bait to use. I brought the muddy water punch bait. <laughs> And I brought the no skunk punch bait. So, see if we can get something going. Check that out. Just gonna use a paint paddle. Probably gonna start out with the punch bait first. I'm going down there. That's the wax worms you got in that bag, bro. What? That's the wax worm. The worms are right there. What are wax worms? They're, worms? They're little bitty worms. Yeah, they work good. So, you're good. Just didn't want you to get down there and think you had something you didn't have. I don't want to hit you while I cast it. Remember, the name of the game is fishing, not tying on hooks all day. Well, I don't know how to get it on the boat. Well, you got lucky. This is what you got. All right, so I got two poles set up. No skunk punch bait. I'm going to go ahead and set one up with the dip bait. Just to try to give them a variety. This one has a circle hook. So number six. Make sure to smear that all in the, the grooves there. Not going out too far with that one. Yes, I brought. Two 11 year olds fishing with me today. That in itself uh, is gonna be challenging. We'll see. Let me see what I brought. I know there's some, I gotta, I might throw that bad boy. I don't think I brought anything for bass. Catfish stuff. Cause the plan is to do punch base today. Yeah, I brought some stuff. Heck yeah, I didn't realize I did. So we'll see. Brought some rooster tails. I'm gonna try some stuff since we saw that. 
that bass right there now mind you i don't know i'm not a bass fisherman first and foremost second thing to remember is that i don't really know what i'm doing a uh, really good bass fisherman buddy of mine teller t shout out said that pretty much all you do is just put on something throw it till your hand gets tired your arm gets tired and then you you just swap out and continue on so uh that's probably what i'm gonna try on my little pole i think i got five pound test on my pole right there five or six pound so we'll throw we'll throw it out with a rooster tail kind of see what happens I'm good at everything besides fishing. Go get a wet after them holes in there. They don't, don't need to be messed with. There might not be any catfish in here. I'm hoping there are. There may not be any fish. No, there's fish. Are y'all? Yeah, no. nobody well, can fish, catch. The problem is crap. this is really deep. You know, the fish we're trying to fish are scared of deep water. It should be wherever yeah, the water is. Yeah, there's a catfish. You see one? No, did you hear that? That's the noise that they make. You know that little sound? Yeah, I just heard that. Well, that's good. Maybe there's one of them here, too. I got a catfish, boys. I got a catfish. Oh, you did? Yep. Bite me, baby. Where? He's coming up. Here, go down there and grab him, Patrick, before he breaks my line. You want me to jump in? No. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, no, he's here. He's a good one. Oh, my God. 
All right, let's get down here and get him on the dip bait. So now we might be doing dip bait on everything. Can I whip him? There we go. Are we keeping him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. First catfish. That's a good him? one. That's a good one. What is that? Can I help him out? I gotta get my pliers here. You can hold him by his ears. I gotta get this. He um, swallowed the hook. Good God. How does he swallow the whole thing? It's supposed to hook him in the corner of the mouth, but. Where did you see there's in here? They're right there. Oh. I'm blind. You gotta hold him by the ears. Look how fat he is. That's why they're not biting. Look how fat it is. <laughs> it's pregnant. It is. Yeah, just kidding. Can I lift him? Right by here. I put like a hook on him. Yeah, he's, he's a big fish. Here you go. Nice channel cat on the uh, cheese dip bait. I don't have my stringer, so we're going to have to improvise. Alright, well that was exciting. That's the first catfish of the year on the dip bait. Still haven't had any bites on the punch bait yet, but I think the oh, fish are, oh, yeah, the fish are just starting to wake up. So we're gonna get retied back on number six, circle hook, and I'll get the dip bait back out there. All right, so today's the first day I've had in a while to actually come out, sit and fish. We got a, a weekend off this weekend, no tournament. Um, so yeah, we're doing a, we're fishing at a private pond. Um, you can see the fish around the edges. They're just they're not wanting to bite. Um, little bro had a brim, a pretty good sized brim. Um, smack his, but he had to put it right in front of his face. So it was 40, 45 degrees this morning. It's supposed to be 75. It's windy. Beautiful day to be out here fishing. Catfish are slow. The bite's slow. For sure. We've been here two hours now. Caught one fish. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give you a look at the lake or the pond. I keep saying lake is a pond. It's pretty good size. It's deep. It's definitely deep. Um, we're gonna change spots here. Shortly, we're gonna move over there, recast the poles. Even though I can pretty much cast across this side, I want to keep the boys fishing. Um, new spots keep it fun for them. So, I got my son and one of his friends uh, with us today. Well, the deal was is we wouldn't leave till we caught a fish until the uh, till it got dark. So, luckily we've caught a fish because we came uh, very illy prepared for the day. Didn't bring really any food. Didn't really bring anything. So, uh, I only brought one uh, circle hook with me. And my full intentions today were to use uh, punch bait only. But um, dip bait has won the battle so far today. Probably because it's diffusing a little better in the water with it being cold. Um, but we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Um, like I said, we'll be moving down shortly, another 15, 20 minutes. Try some different different covers, some different water. What did that teach you? My thing was like my line was tear like really bad knotted. Did you learn something from that? And then I unknotted it and you could have asked me. Did you learn something from that?
probably worm, or you just gonna scare him off. I think he's been there all day. Yeah, he's still standing there. Like, oh. yeah, give me my rock. Doing. And the fish, and you know there's fish and put the bait right in front of them and they don't bite, that's rough. Terrible here. You are. There he is, right there. You see? Oh, excuse me. Give it, give it, give it. You got it. Smash it. Smash it. You got it. Yes. Get him up. That's a yeah. good one, boy. <laughs> I hate you. That's a big <laughs> one, buddy. Finally Ooh, got it. You look, oh, you didn't even eat the worm either. Is that a bass or a bluegill? Stop. Wait, can you lip him? That big old mouth. Whoa. Finally, carry him up there. He'll, he will escape. Put he your thumb me. down. Hold him tight with your thumb now. Here, walk up there a little bit. Hey. Whoa, I wanted to kiss that one. So hold him up like this. <laughs> and kick your, crook your hand. So it makes him look bigger. Like this. <laughs> Elbow down. Hand up. Elbow down. Hand up. There you go. Okay, let's go. Let's take a picture. Excellent. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and sign out here, get everything pulled up, cleaned up, and hit the road. Appreciate you watching. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe. If you want to check out our products, go on georgiamadesb.com. Pick up yours. You can also get it on Amazon, eBay, Etsy. Appreciate you. See you on the next one.